We're here to talk about the Get the Facts Linux Compete campaign. Right now, the biggest competition to a lot of Microsoft software comes from a consortium called Open Source. Open source means you can go onto a website, download the software, and you're free to use it on your machines at no price. That leads people to believe that it's free. It's only one thing. It costs money to support. So Microsoft launched an advertising campaign called Get the Facts. The purpose of Get the Facts was to say, yeah, it's, you think it's free, but it really isn't, and to drive people to websites where they can read white papers, look at case studies, and see proof that Microsoft puts out there that open source ha is more expensive. Microsoft commissioned a study by a third party that talked specifically about how the reliability of Microsoft Windows Server stacks up against the reliability of a, of a Linux operating system on a server. The client said to us, we want people to download the survey. But these are pretty strong facts. Why make people wait for the survey? So we took the facts and said, okay, let's lay the facts out and find a way to tie them together with the, with the, with the campaign. Let's put the facts out there on an email. Let's put the, put the facts, three banners, one of, the, one of each of the three facts in each banner. It was a classic case of, if you have something to say, say it. Don't get in its way. If you have a strong message, let the message speak for itself. Once we came to that conclusion, the campaign pretty much wrote itself. By not asking people to download the survey to get the facts, but actually giving them the facts, more people ultimately downloaded the survey. We got 73% more downloads than we projected. We also got 37% more people registering to receive more information about Microsoft than, than we'd anticipated. This was a US-only campaign. This was not an international campaign. But because it lived on the web, because there was a landing page, because there were some banners and emails, Something viral happened. About 39% of those people came from overseas markets where Linux is particularly strong. That was the thinking behind this campaign, and that's how we executed it.